God. <laughs> who, who wants to who wants to talk video games on this video games podcast? Yeah. Let's do it. Gaming. Uh, I might actually have to bounce early. I love video games. Okay, in that case, Blaine, feel free to uh, go ahead. So, um, I've been not playing a whole lot of different stuff. So I feel like I've been saying that every week now. Um, because of the announcement and new trailers and stuff for Resident Evil 8, which I'm sad I didn't get to talk about last week, but whatever. Yes, I have a crush on the big lady like everyone else. Um, <laughs> I've been back. I actually got uh, Resident, Evil Gold, Resident Evil 7 Gold on sale um, and went back into that to get the Platinum, which I did. Um, that game's still really good. It, yes, it's flawed. Yes, it drags a little bit in the second half, but I don't know. I feel like... Out of curiosity, what would you label flaws in 7? Um, I would label flaws being once you finish Lucas's whole bit and you do the boss fight with Jack, you do the boat, like the game doesn't feel quite as well paced or as interesting. I think the stuff Mm -hmm. on the ship is good. Yeah. I even don't mind the stuff in the mines. I think it's a very, I also think it's a very, cause I'm I'm a sucker for the whole like end where you begin narratives. So the fact you go back to the guest Mm -hmm. house is Mm -hmm. I think something very cool. Um, but I mean, after playing the game, probably like God, one, two, three, at least like five times or something over different modes, different like I had to actually replay this time because I didn't have my save data from when I owned the game previously. Um, it, there's just I never I never get tired of going through the house. I get a little tired of having to go through the motions of okay, we've gone through the ship, okay, we are going through the mines. Now we're going to the second part of the mine. I Madhouse I fixed definitely that. Definitely agree with you. Oh, does you Madhouse fix it? Oh, yeah, I was just going to say, spe- specifically the uh, ship segment, because I had just finished replaying. I think you even said, like, you picked up 7 because you saw me streaming it. But that was the, part the, of it, yeah. But the fact that you have to go through the ship um, ostensibly, like, twice is kind of what kills it all. So, like, like some of yeah. it's different. Like, here's some stuff here that if you did something in the past and, and impacts the future, but it's, like, very limited. Uh-huh. But having to go through that same environment where it, where it is a ship and the... Like every floor looks basically exactly the same. It's a little monotonous. And I don't even mind that. Like the first time I played it, it's more on like the fifth replay. And actually, if you want to say sixth replay, because I missed an antique coin and I was not playing this again after that. So I had to reload a save, go back through. Like that's when you really notice that that latter half of the game is just kind of imperfect. But, I'm I mean, fine with the past ship stuff. I think the past ship stuff is cool in like a storytelling angle. Well, oh, I think the and storytelling of it is great. It, it, it's and just it's annoying like, to go through a second time. Yeah, I, I like how they designed it all destroyed and stuff in the second half of it, but it's still just like a slog to go through. Plus, I the enemies if, are so I wish, there was, a way, I wish there was a way to like skip it if you had already beaten it once. Like, yeah. you could actually just skip that tape segment because like you don't have to rewatch the Mia tape. You don't have to rewatch the Derelict House tape if you really don't want to. Mm-hmm. Um, I haven't had to watch Happy Birthday since beating the game once because I know the code to the door. Um, it, I will say the d- fuck you. Uh, <laughs> I know, I know, I know. I know. Um, and I, I will say I actually I've played some of the DLC. I mean, I've, I've beaten Not a Hero before, but I'll go back into it this time on professional. I played the Bedroom Escape DLC. That one's a lot of fun. It was really neat. I actually figuring out all the different things and like realizing, oh, there's no way to actually stop Marguerite from coming back. You just have to keep in mind, like to trick her all three times. Did Um, you find all the dead possums? No, I got to find dead rats and I got to find all dead dead rats. I don't know why I thought they were possums. My head just went to possums. Big rats. Oh my goodness. But yeah, Uh, um, other than that, I mean, I played detention. Said um, I'm going to be getting back into Stardew Valley very soon as soon as that fucking update drops and i'm probably going to try and platinum uh or eight comes out nice resident yeah, evil's good it's, it's a good time to replay through a bunch of resident evil games um, oh, yeah. and the lead I, up to uh, the deluxe edition so i'm just like oh i better i was about to buy the collect the uh collector's edition which was like fucking like what how much was it sarah like 219 dollars after tax, it was like two twenty five. <laughs> I hate oh, myself. She listen. bought it. But listen, I'm, I'm probably getting it on Steam, so I'm just like eh. it doesn't charge me till a day before it ships. So leave me alone. It gives me <laughs> it gives me a couple months to get the funds and put them aside for my dumb giant Chris statue. 
I guess um, I, I haven't played too much, so I'll just go ahead and go right after Blaine. Um, so I also played Resident Evil 7. It's a it's a good time. The no, Not a Hero DLC is a good action twist on, um, on the foundation of the base game. Like, you're running around, and so there, there's two key different things you can do. You have direct ADS versus slight um, scoping in, which in the base game, it takes you a second for the reticule to narrow down into the single dot, and each shot resets that. Uh, that's not a thing and not a hero. You're just completely ADSing and you can go as for as many head like pinpoint headshots as you want. Mm-hmm. And with Chris and in typical Chris uh, action, uh, you can just you can just punch the fuck out of all the enemies, which is pretty damn useful. It, it like fundamentally changes the way that you approach encounters. And I'm curious to see how Resident Evil 8 might take elements of those, especially since since uh, some of the battles, at least when we've seen from the trailers are kind of hitting at like bigger arena battles like where they show the shot where there's a bunch of uh, villagers heading towards you and there's even one dude with a giant hammer so maybe they'll add contextual melee attacks or something like that let's let's where just be blunt punches? let's just be blunt this game looks like resident evil 4 2 it, that's what it looks like 4 2 2 no 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 not 4 2 2 resident evil 4 colon 2 the sequel or the mm-hmm. sequel. oh uh, yeah oh, 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 boogaloo there you go. <laughs> no, I mean, um, seriously, like I've given up on my idea that this is an elaborate bait and switch and it is truly a Resident Evil 4 remake. I have totally given up on that. Um, but this is definitely still a, in my opinion, this is still definitely like a, well, we never did anything with that Hookman demo and that aesthetic. What if we go back to that as a base idea of like aesthetic of attitude of tone and then see what we can do with that in this new se- this new sequel? Um, and it definitely feels like I'm honestly, I've been saying this as a joke on Twitter, but I'm actually curious, like, is this maybe going to be the one where they don't give you an explicit, like, this is a scientific experiment gone wrong? Are they just going to be vague about it and be like, well, yeah, umbrella is here and connected, but, um, uh, we don't know exactly what's going on. Vampires just, and werewolves. Just fucking let it be yeah. weird as, as weird as it wants. Exactly. I'm, just, I'm just kind of hoping that they stick with the vampire and werewolf stuff because like, Resident Evil is already fucking nuts enough, and I can't believe it's taken them seven mainline games to finally go, you know, maybe we should put werewolves and vampires in this. Like, I just feel like these should have been here a long time ago, and the fact that they're doing it now. Yeah, I I hope that the word T-virus or, like, mold is not mentioned once in this entire game. Hear me out on this, though. What if it's nanomachines infected with the T-virus? Mm. You're double-dipping. No. Nope. Right. Yes. Yes. <laughs> and she's not actually that tall. It's just hypnosis. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 Uh, <laughs> I, I, Tris, that, that I've never, I've never gotten over the fact that he said the uh, vamp throwing your knife in your shadow is hypnosis. I've never, <laughs> ever gotten over that. I never will. That, it, that so was stupid. the explanation for that scene. Is yeah. that yes. For? <laughs> it's so dumb. <laughs> Yes, I, I it, love that. It's it, it, is it, it's a bit of a segue, but and I love Ocelot how like Ocelot hypnotized himself to believe that he was Ocelot, who believed that he was actually. I know like, that much. So they never he explained that, what like, the his arm was like possessing him. But that's <sighs> well, well, see, they, they explained it. it was to fool the Patriots, but they never elaborated. I was just like, wait, how does that bypass their system somehow? Like it doesn't make sense. And I just love how it's because he seems uh, so right, crazy that they're just like, oh my god, you're like, oh fuck, what do we do? I hate but this. I, I love how. Um, Revengeance just takes it, just like yeah, nano machines are fucking stupid. Let's have the senator like absorb like the green life energy from this fucking Metal Gear and just bec- become like a fucking super saiyan. And he literally just looks at the camera, and says nano machines, son. Which 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 one talked about memes? Was was it was that Revengeance? Uh, that, that was all two. That, well, that's two also was the Revenge. one that was about it, and yeah, the character in Revengeance makes mention of it. It's gene meme scene, scene. and sense. My God, nano machine. That was it. <laughs> <laughs> that was it. Yeah. I mean, Ryan looks like a scene kid. <laughs> All grown up. Oh, I feel so weird. Oh, can we can we talk about Ryan's son that we don't see after Metal Gear Solid Four? He's yeah. just <laughs> not in Revengeance. He like You're right. Uniform? Isn't he in like a sailor uniform? If I remember correctly, I, I remember I him being I a little T-shirt. So. I don't know, but he has a son. Rose did have a kid. 
Uh, Rose true. gave birth to a child. Man, I, I can go off on Mel. Sunny's in. Sunny's in Revengeance. But, uh, yeah, she is. She's living her best life. Kid. Absolutely. As soon Jesus I oh Christ. god, as soon as Battle Gear is brought up, I just lose all fucking hope. Hey, oh, hey, who hasn't it. I love who hasn't it. gone yet? Mm-hmm. Who hasn't gone yet? We're gonna get mm-hmm. trapped. Mm-hmm. In this, this, in this, this is the last thing I'll say. Ocelot was the best good guy in the entire series, the entire time. And it's all retconned, and I don't fucking care. I, I, is no one a good guy in Metal Gear? Like, I don't. Yeah. Ocelot I'm is a secret good Ocelot. guy. Well, there's good guys. David is a good guy. Hal is a good guy. David. Um, His name is Solid David. Snake. Yeah. Huey no, would have been a MAGA asshat. God, yeah, he's yes. based in Red Pilled. <laughs> oh, you've seen that video. Oh, ba- oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> Mesa, I need you to send me that video I, at some I, point. I'm gonna look right. it right now. Um Actually no, Mesa, you look it up. I'll I'll go into what we're supposed to be nah, talking about. Mesa, this you go into that because otherwise I'm gonna end up driving this podcast <laughs> into the fucking ground. It's eleven fifty um, and okay. I need I have other things I need to do. <laughs> uh, 